Welcome to the Global Spirituality Mahotsav 2024. Vedas and Upanishads were humanity's first steps towards spiritual evolution. The Vedic verses held subtle techniques that ignited deep feelings, tuned the body and mind to rise to a higher vibration, a state of enlightened bliss. The most invocative of prayers, the Gayatri Mantra, was chanted to the rising sun, a meditative start to the day. You are the effulgent sun. I meditate upon you with reverence. May you enlighten my mind. Sage Patanjali encapsulated the spirit of yoga. Yoga chitta vritti nirodha tada drashtuhu swarupe vasthanam. The true purpose of yoga is to dissolve the noise of endless thought. When the mind is quiet and focused, it begins to sense truth within. Hundreds of millions of yoga practitioners across the world discover stillness and silence in the sadhana every day. Indian masters devised many pathways to reach the goal. Sage Vyasa designed the concept of Karma Yoga in the Bhagavad Gita. He demonstrated how a Karma Yogi could be at peace even in times of intense conflict. The protagonist Lord Krishna teaches the warrior Arjuna to fight with equanimity and remain in a state of bliss even at the moment of death. In 600 BC, Mahavira the 24th Tirthankara evolved Jainism with its purity and poise. He taught the five vows of non-violence, truthfulness, non-covetousness, chastity and non-attachment. In 500 BC, Buddha evolved his eightfold path to Nirvana, a beautiful prescription of right view, speech, conduct, resolve, livelihood, effort, mindfulness, and samadhi. This eight spoke wheel of Dharma rolled across South Asia. 
Around the 4th century BC, Adi Shankara conceptualized Advaita Vedanta. His teachings are quoted even today by quantum physicists, mathematicians and philosophers. Chidananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham Chidananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham Chidananda Rupa Shivoham, Shivoham. When you identify with your own blissful consciousness, you merge with the universal truth of existence. 1580, Guru Nanak inspired Sikhism, created a path replete with the spirit of self-sacrifice and surrender. The Bhakti movement took Antarik Shanti into the domain of pure love. Bhakti Yoga was all about surrender amidst a state of grace. The tradition of Meera and her bhajans still reverberate in the hearts of a billion people. Every performing art of India has a secret link to bliss. The purpose of dance and music is to discover joy in action. The artist often getting in a flow state, merging with the spirit within. Nadu Upasana, the meditative act of deep listening could lead you to rapturous joy. Where there's the sound of music, or simply the sounds of nature, deep listening can lead to blissful joy. Indian masters across the ages traded paths of inner peace that reached the far corners of the globe. As Swami Vivekananda, addressing the World Parliament of Religions at Chicago in 1893 said, I am proud to belong to a nation which taught the world tolerance and universal acceptance. The 19th century marked the proliferation of a new generation of masters. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, Sri Aurobindo, Swami Vivekananda, Babuji Maharaj, Ramana Maharshi, Jiddu Krishnamurti, Mahesh Yogi and so many others, each taking the torch forward and serving as global ambassadors of inner peace. In the 19th century, the Baha'i faith introduced the world to peace and bliss through human values of togetherness and love. 
World peace can only happen when inner peace dawns in the hearts of a critical mass of people. India has long been a Vishwaguru, a world teacher, spreading the light of bliss as an antidote to the venom of intolerance. The Global Spirituality Mahotsav is a step forward in the evolution of Indian spirituality into a global phenomenon. We salute the efforts of thousands of spiritual masters who are contributing selflessly to this noble cause. Like the roots of a vast banyan tree that hold the soil from being washed away, our masters, each unto themselves, serve to hold the fabric of society from crumbling. Now and forever, India shall remain at the forefront of this noble endeavor. Thank you.